Hi, it's David Pingree out here at Paula Raceway. Today we're testing our 2014 RMZ 450. This was my own personal project. Uh, spent a lot of time on this thing, dialing it in. Uh, enlisted, enlisted the help of Pro Circuit. You know, I uh, had those guys build me an engine for this thing. Very, very subtle engine work, just clean things up. I still wanted to be able to run pump fuel. Threw on one of their exhaust systems. Uh, Pro Circuit's standard exhaust system, the Tide exhaust system, it makes some noise, but it also makes a lot of horsepower. So really, really stoked with the way this thing worked on the track. It sounds meaty and uh, it pulls hard, you know, but it's very, very usable power. You just roll this thing on, you don't even need the clutch. Now, of course, we went to Henson for the clutch components. You know, anytime you uh, increase the horsepower in a stock machine or if you're going to be riding it hard, uh, it's better to go to a little bit more solid clutch. Henson is, uh, is our go-to there. And we also got a really cool set of foot pegs that are made by Raptor. Uh, these things are amazing. Titanium, uh, looks super cool. Totally just grab your feet. I'll tell you what, on the track it was, it was just as fun as, as we hoped it would be, you know. Uh, for me, I love the way this bike corners. Um, I can just, just roll the throttle on and knife inside of anything or rail around a berm. It just corners so well. So I just wanted to keep that feeling, maybe enhance the power a little bit, even though I really like the stock power. It's just always nice to kind of beef it up a little, and that's exactly what it did. Stock coupling on the mapping and everything else. So uh, they did the suspension, bones over there, always takes care of me. Put on a set of triple clamps uh, that just help this thing to clean up the steering a little bit, plant that front wheel. Uh, Renthal helped out a whole bunch as well. They provided the handlebars, uh, grips, sprocket, chain, all of our drive system. Uh, we coupled that with uh, a wheel set from W. They're kite hubs with Excel rims. We kind of created our own colors there, blue hub and blue spoke nipples with a silver rim. So uh, on their website, you can go in and build any color wheel you want. It's very cool. So we mounted Galfer rotors to our W wheel set. They distribute Galfer stuff, so it was real easy. Uh, thing stops on a dime. Great, great stopping power here with an oversized Galfer front. Um, so really happy with that. Um, Works connection. Uh, obviously always go to them for our little bits and pieces and parts. Clutch, lever and adjuster, uh, all of our caps and things like that. And light speed also helped with some carbon. Uh, we use a skid plate and a front brake uh, cover and uh, some other pieces, chain guide and things like that. So uh, thanks a lot to Lightspeed for the help. You know, with this bike, uh, I'm a big fan of it. We were just trying to really make it look cool, try to make it work a little bit better for me personally, and, and uh, that was the goal, you know. We, we mounted up some Dunlop tires, and uh, you know, again, just help with the help of Pro Circuit, kind of tried to take it to that next level. Thanks a bunch to Decal Works for coming up with the, uh, with the graphics. Moto seat, put together the seat to match it, and uh, yeah, we think it came out looking pretty nice, and, and I'll tell you what, I, I absolutely love it. This is uh, my favorite 450, and we just basically buffed it out and made it fit me perfectly, and, and uh, I love it. So thanks to everybody who helped out, Pro Circuit, Renthal, Decal Works, Moto Seat, Dunlop, W, all you guys, thank you very much. Uh, this is uh, as close as I've been to a race bike since 2003 or so, so thanks a lot for watching.